wins fights, then uh, Sebastian Rothman has a real chance against O'Neill Bell. O'Neill Bell uh, is a banger. He can get you out of there. 22 knockouts in his 24 wins. He's the holder of the uh, belt right now. And uh, at 30 years of age, he has uh, moved right into the, uh, the boxing spotlight, so to speak. He certainly will be in the spotlight here at the Hard Rock. That is the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We're here in Hollywood, Florida. Barry Tompkins, the champ, Sean O'Grady, and the Water Beach champ, David Tua, alongside telling you all about it here tonight. And we come now to this Cruiserweight Championship fight between O'Neill Bell and Sebastian Rothman. Well, Rothman, a confident fighter, as we said, even though he doesn't have the experience that O'Neill Bell has. And uh, I believe right now, Sean O'Grady, the champ, is with another champ. Sean, you got it. Hey, O'Neal Bell, I'll tell you what, this is, this is going to be a good fight. I'm really looking forward to this. How do you come out when you know this guy's coming after you to take your, tri your title? Hey, that's the only way I like it. Go get him, you know. Um, instead of me chasing my opponent like the last fight, come to me, let's fight. This is a boxing match. Let's go ahead and do it right now. And O'Neal, what's going to be the biggest obstacle in going up against Rothman? The biggest obstacle, I don't think it's an obstacle. I overcame the obstacle in the gym. Now it's, it's my right. time to execute right now in the ring, August 26th tonight, Friday night on Showtime. Your championship, what do you what do you try to, to focus on in this fight with him coming in there? Control, control. Yeah. Learning yeah, not to are. explode and not to and not to um, um, get off, get off before I'm supposed to. Control, basically. I'm an explosive puncher. You know, the only thing I have to do is control myself and deliver the shot, execute. Wow, that's fantastic. Uh, you know what? You ha we're getting ready for a good fight. Barry, you hear it? Both of them know what they want to do tonight. It's vital. Guys? Well, we keep talking about game plans, and here's two guys uh, who it seems have come in here with a game plan. Now, if Rothman uh, executes his and is just able to jab and stick and move, maybe it does mean, uh, David, that O'Neill Bell will have to chase him around again like he did in his last fight. Well, he's mentioned that he's going to be taking his time, trying to stick to the game plan, and obviously walk him down into a stage where he's going to be able to get off. So, uh, once again, the important to have a game plan. All right, well, uh, we're just about set for the ring walks then, and uh, here's Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we present our world title attraction. Prepare to welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger, Sebastian Rothman. against the puncher. It's, if, in fact, styles make fights, this should be a good one. 
Bell comes in five and a half pounds heavier than Rothman. Uh, they are both just over 30 years of age and uh, very little to choose between these two. The experience factor, however, belongs to the champion O'Neill Bell. With that, we go to the center of the ring once more and our favorite ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. with the official introductions. Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino here in Hollywood, Florida. At this time, we present our world title attraction. It is brought to you courtesy of Warriors Boxing Promotions, along with Cedric Kushner Promotions, in association with the Seminole Tribe of Florida and the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Hollywood, Florida, as sponsored by Friends and Dom. This bout is sanctioned by the IBF, President Marion Muhammad, Supervisor Daryl Peoples, along with the Florida State Boxing Commission. Judging at ringside for this bout, Alex Levin, Donald O'Neill, and Peter Tremetera. And our third man in the ring, our referee in charge, Tommy Kimmons. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first the challenger on my left, fighting out of the red corner, entering the ring wearing blue trunks, originally from Tel Aviv, Israel, now fighting out of Pretoria, South Africa. His weight already 194 and one half pounds. His record stands at 18 wins, three losses, and two draws, with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the IBF number 13 cruiserweight world contender. Please welcome the former IBO and WBU cruiserweight champion. Please welcome the challenger, Sebastian Ruffman. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with gold trim. He hails from Montego Bay, Jamaica. He weighed in at the cruiserweight limit of 200 pounds even. His record, 24 wins, one defeat, one draw, with 22 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight he is making the first defense of his title. Please welcome the IBF Cruiserweight Champion of the World, introducing O'Neill Supernova. in charge, Tommy Kimmons now to give instructions. 12 rounds of World Championship Boxing schedule. Gentlemen, this is a 12 round fight for the IBF Cruiserweight Championship of the World. And I gave you the instructions. I want to remind you, this is to to watch you fight, so keep it clean. Touch him up. So we are set to go, and uh, we also, of course, want to welcome all of you uh, watching live tonight in South Africa on MNET. You got to get up early or stay up late. Oh, yeah, the, uh, they love boxing in South Africa, too. It is the number two sport right behind soccer. They love the sport of, of boxing. They follow it. They read the magazine, so we're happy to have them tuning in on MNET. Great sports country, as a matter of fact. Tommy Kimmons will be the referee, and we are underway. And Rothman is going to have to outbox Bell, and he's going to have to keep him off of him. Start to the good left jab. Well, this fight right here is just, I, I think it's just an outstanding fight. You know, this is everything that's good about boxing. These two well-fit athletes who get in there, they come in with you, hear, you heard them in the back. They both know exactly, specifically what they want to do. And both of them trying to win this championship as both of them are challengers. Now we know Bell on your right is the champion. And he's trying to set the pace in this first round with that jab. Good shot yeah. by Bell to start things here. And uh, get Rothman's attention. Now the one thing that must be said too, Sean, is that Bell has the experience edge. He's been in there against better guys than Rothman has. And, and the other thing that needs to be pointed out, Rothman owned the IBF old cruiserweight title for a short time. Lost the title to Carl Thompson back in February of last year. And then he, 
you know the old thing you fall off the horse you get back up on the horse well they put him back up on man of war he lost to steve cunningham after that in a majority decision so he's yeah. lost two in his last three two and two in his last four and they he has he has all kinds of guts sebastian rothman could be called sebastian gutman he is a tough fella and he is so focused for this fight he has never fought here in the United States, fought all his fights, uh, either in South Africa or in Europe. And again, a testament to what I just said. He's normally sleeping at this hour, you know, or he's in the middle of the afternoon at this hour. Here he is fighting. He was performing on the other, other opposite side of the world for, for him. Now, that is no small commute from Pretoria, South Africa. To you. Yeah, I've fought on the other side of the world, and it's, it's hard. It, it drains you. You're tired. Oh, good, right. Sebastian. Some kind of a confidence building around here for after taking a shot early from uh, on the ball. Rockman fighting much better. Oh, no. A lot of pushing in this opening round. Trying to feel out your opponent. A good combination from Rothman. Yeah, Rothman fighting a uh, pretty good first round. Bell says, come on, come to me. That's what Bell wants. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes you can lay up against those ropes, and it's a, it's a relaxing way to fight. Very close first round here. Mm -hmm. Sebastian Rothman, what, what do you think, David? Too that, that was a that was a very close round. Sean, you know you talked earlier about the importance of having a fight plan. Now, as you can see in the first round, you know both fighters have gone out there and established their jabs, established their movements, making angles. And in regards to that, you know, I totally agree with you in regards to, to, to having a fight plan. If plan A don't work, it's obvious you need to have plan B. Do you think it's time to switch this to plan B? I believe so. What do you reckon? Come on, I punch. Right. Give me Vaseline. You give me a life too, okay? Yeah, give me a life too, that. Harold Volbert. Some South African's best trainers. He's been around the game a while. Give me a life too. What round is it, uh, Barry? Coming to round two. Hey, there you go. Touch gloves and go to work. Good jab, good stiff jab. You know, my trainer always told me set the jab. Everything else will work if you if you just can set the jab. Right in every fight, start that jab off. Nice work from Rothman. The jab counter from Bell. And you would always say to your trainer, Dad. Yes, exactly. I did. I sure did. My father was my trainer? Dad, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. How do you fire your trainer? I never could. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Dad. You're fired. Still struggling in there a bit. Looking for the, for the opening. Tommy Kibben's the third man in the ring. They're telling Bell to throw to the center. What they mean is they come up, come up to the uppercut right between the gloves. Nobody really got the better of that. I would think that's more the fight that Bell wants than the fight that Rothman wants, but Rothman's going to take what's there. This is the fight that Rothman wants right here in the center of the ring in long range. And a good jab. Good jab. Good jab. Jab's the most important weapon in boxing, both offense and defense. Well, so far, uh, Rothman, for the most part, is doing exactly what he told he was going to do. Keep him off him with the jab. And I'll tell you, O'Neal keeps his chin up in the air a little too high. See how he's got it up there, kind of cocks his head. I'd like to see him tuck that chin. You got to get all the production you can. See his chin kind of exposed there. He does try to use that shoulder as protection. Good body shot. 
Yeah, we heard that. To the body and to the head, they're telling Bell. Double right hand from Rothman. Four straight punches got there from Rothman. Rothman's not a guy who's going to get you out of there with one punch. No, he keeps a lot of them coming. Oh, nice left hand. The right hand missed, but the left hand got there. And Rothman may be fighting Bell's fight, but he's fighting better than Bell right now. And he's punching. Bell's kind of getting out of the way. There's a good left hook from Rothman. Sebastian landing with that. Bell trying to lean on the ropes. Rothman clearly getting the better of it here. And Bell finally extricates himself. Nice work from Sebastian Bell at the end of the round once again. You know, good combination. He got O'Neal in the corner. Rothman kept him in the corner until the bell rang. Good round, I thought, for Sebastian Rothman. You know what? And those were set up by the left jab. And David, to uh, help me, help me talk about the importance of that jab. Here's the jab setting up the attack that Rothman was going to use. Sean, you know, I was in the same situation, you know, as you were. You know, your father was a trainer. My father was a trainer. And he was a great believer in having a good jab. And you can see the jab just opens up everything. Straight right hand. And that's why Rothman was able to score well at the end of that round. The jab kind of tempos your, your opponent. You set the pace with that jab. You control the, the fight with that jab. It pretty much kept, him, kept his distance where he was able to get off. A little bit of uh, swelling under the left eye of Sebastian Rothman. It's not an issue right now. This is round three. 12 rounds for the IBF Cruiserweight Championship of the world. The Cruiserweight division, less than 200 pounds, been around since 1979. And it used to be a transition, really a kind of a transition division. People would go from light heavyweight to, to heavyweight. So they put in this cruiserweight division where now all of a sudden the light heavyweights would develop into, into fighters and the, the heavyweights would stay in their class. And, and of course, the interesting thing to me, guys, is that uh, Rocky Marciano would have been cruiserweight. Yes. And he beat, you know, heavyweights. They were, they were big. I mean, they were big heavyweights. The Rock. A pretty good career. For more jabs from O'Neal. Good right cross. What a throwing with intention. O'Neal just seems to be pawing right now with his punches, just trying to pick Rothman's jab. Now putting a little pressure is O'Neal. Rothman, pretty good defender, covers up pretty well. Those punches mostly landed on the elbows and. Uh, Tommy Kibben's obviously thinking one of them landed low. Yeah, real respectful is uh, O'Neal. I'll tell you, both nice guys. Outside the ropes are both, both quality guys. Good jab from Sebastian. O'Neal Bell is going to start to realize uh, he's got a problem here getting inside the jab of Rothman. And when he has, Rothman's gotten the better of it. But O'Neal does know that it's still early in this fight. Right. I mean, we still got a long way to go. Right? How about that? Seven or eight jabs in a row. And no retaliation from Bell. Oh, well, there it is. Good combination from Bell. I like Bell doing that. Start off at the body, then work your way to the head. There's a good cross from Sebastian. Swelling under the right eye of uh, Sebastian Rothman also. So swelling under both eyes. And still, of course, a long way to go. Good jab. Good jab. You know, these two, they do know the importance of the jab. Both of them. That's a good cross. Pick the on the arms of Rothman. And there's Rothman coming back. Both of them trying to, still trying to set the tempo in this fight. I thought another good round for Sebastian Rothman.
Well, he is setting it, and you know what? It's still early, still developing yet. They're still trying to change the strategy for O'Neal. That's James Plenty. He's uh, got plenty of instructions in this one. David, too, what would you tell him if you're in the corner? Uh, 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 how about a bell or Rothman? I want to be the star of the right. All right, give me Vaseline. You know, just an observation here, David, that a little bit of swelling under both eyes, and far be it for me to question, but why would they not get in swell on that world? Beats me. Thank you. I think they <laughs> should, David. They beats him. <laughs> uh, the, uh, what the old-time trainers used to do is they put the, the silver dollars in the buckets, and they'd hold the silver dollars, they would get cold. They'd hold the silver onto a, a swelling or a mark, discoloration. And one of the new inventions they, they have is the inswell, which is the same theory. It's with a piece of metal. Now they're heating it up. And, and Rothman slipped the left hand in, which was the best punch of that exchange. And there's an uppercut by Rothman, oh. left hand behind it. Great weapon. Did Bell wobble from that? things, Rothman is not a flashy fighter, but you know one thing I really do like about him? He always seems to be on balance when he throws a punch. You know, he's been taught the basics well. Look at his hands, are, they're pretty, pretty high. When he gets in close, he brings them up, he throws good punches, he has good balance in there. He's like an overall fighter. He kind of steps around, look at this work from him, he does a, a, a little pivot around there. There's Bell with a couple of body shots. And there's a couple of bumper cuts that did slip in. They weren't damaging. Rothman come, comes right back with a right hand of his own. Rothman is just taking this fight oh, to Bell. Rothman's hurt. No, I think he's got to be faking it. That's too good. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of be a word performance. be the advice in the corner between rounds. You know, you're, you're getting out hustled in there. It, it, your opponent's taking the play away from you. He's hitting you three to your other two. Rothman is really sharpshooting Bell here. Very high connect percentage. There's another uppercut, a left hand behind it. And a right hand slips in. And Bell's shots are being all caught. Now Rothman with his back against the ropes. Keep him up. Rothman. And the timekeeper, the timekeeper did not start counting. Although it's 